Hello, my name is Bernadette and I'm a nurse with the Irish Heart Foundation Heart and Stroke Helpline. I'm going to talk about your pulse and show you how to check your pulse. A normal resting pulse is anywhere between 60 to 100 beats a minute and it's nice and even and regular. You need to rest your arm ideally on the arm of the chair like I'm doing or on the table. And then what you're going to do with your palm faced upwards you're going to, with your index finger and your middle finger, trace your thumb down to the base and onto your wrist, that little space between your watch and the base of your thumb. What you need to do then is press in gently and you should feel your pulse. You may find that you need to move your fingers about a little bit to pick your pulse up, but just press in gently and keep at it. If you're having problems finding your pulse on your wrist, you can try to find your pulse in your neck. This is called the carotid pulse. What we're going to do is feel for our windpipe. That's the long tube that runs down the front of your neck there. And you can see where I'm just feeling either side. And if I do like that, you'll actually see, you can feel it yourself there, this long round tube, okay? It's usually best to try and do this with your middle finger and your ring finger. So what you need to do is just press in gently into that little space where your windpipe is or the Adam's apple is. So as you press in gently, you should be able to feel a nice strong pulse. Just as with your wrist, what you need to do is count those beats for 30 seconds then multiply it by two and that will give you the beats per minute. If your pulse is consistently going up above 100 beats a minute or it's consistently lower than 60 beats a minute and you're feeling a bit faint or dizzy, then that's not normal and you should see your doctor. If your pulse doesn't feel even and regular, like it's skipping a beat or it's fluttering or jumping about a bit, again that isn't normal and you should see your doctor. I would like to reassure you though that even if you need to go and see your doctor, in most cases it will be okay. 